It's a United Airlines plane. It's believed to be uh, at, at that site outside Pittsburgh, isn't it? That's exactly right, John, with 45 people total on board. And one of the more profound things today, the imprint of terrorism seared, not only on Wall Street, but also on Main Street. Here you have an area 80 miles to the southeast of Pittsburgh in this plane, which went down at about 10 o'clock this morning. We have rescue vehicles that came in earlier in the day, and they have turned up nothing. No one believed to be alive from this crash. Some of the media just getting back to the scene, which is about a quarter of a mile uh, up on a hill back behind me and so some of the first pictures just starting to come in within the last hour. I want to get qu uh, quickly to Chris Kanicki. He's a photographer with the uh, Pittsburgh affiliate of Fox Affiliate. He was back there just a couple of minutes ago and Chris, I've seen the pictures. It looks like there's nothing there except for a hole in the ground. Uh, basically that's right. The only thing you could see from where we were uh, was a big gouge in the earth and some broken trees. We could see some people working, walking around in the area but from where we could see, there wasn't much left. Any large pieces of debris at all? No, there was nothing, nothing that you could distinguish that a plane had crashed there. Smoke, fire? Nothing, it was absolutely quiet. It was uh, actually very quiet. Um, nothing going on down there, no smoke, no fire. Just a couple of people walking around. They look like part of the NTSB crew, walking around looking at the pieces. How big would you say that hole was? Uh, from my estimates, I would guess it was probably about 20 to 15 feet. Uh, long and a, probably about 10 feet long or 10 feet wide. What could you see on the ground, if anything, other than dirt and ash? And you couldn't see anything. You could just see dirt, ash, and people walking around, broken trees. The debris here is spread over a three to four mile radius, which has now been completely sealed off and is being treated, according to the FBI, as a crime scene. Um, Governor Tom Ridge made some remarks earlier at a press conference. Uh, he had flown over the site. He said the emergency response here was immediate. He also said, and I don't know whether or not you all are able to see pictures of this, but this is one of those cases where the pictures really do tell the story that sort of the most horrifying aspect of this particular crash scene is how little debris is visible. There is a large crater in the ground, and I'm hoping that you all are seeing it as I'm talking about it, but that's really all you see is a large crater in the ground and, and just tiny, tiny bits of debris. There has been at least one report that the uh, investigators out there, and there are hundreds of them, as I said tonight, um, have found nothing larger than a phone book. Um, I want to get qu uh, quickly to Chris Kanicki. He's a photographer with the uh, Pittsburgh affiliate of Fox Affiliate. He was back there just a couple of minutes ago. And Chris, I've seen the pictures. It looks like there's nothing there except for a hole in the ground. Uh, basically, that's right. The only thing you could see from where we were uh, was a big gouge in the earth and some broken trees. We could see some people working, walking around in the area. but. From where we could see, there wasn't much left. Any large pieces of debris at all? No, there was nothing Nothing that you could distinguish that a plane had crashed there. Smoke, fire? Nothing. It was absolutely quiet. It was uh, actually very quiet. Um, nothing going on down there. No smoke, no fire. Just a couple of people walking around. They look like part of the NTSB crew walking around looking at the pieces. How big would you say that hole was? Uh, from my estimates, I would guess it was probably about 20 to 15 feet. Uh, long and a, probably about 10 feet long or 10 feet you know I get up there and I just I look around John and it was like I mean like it's like where's the plane you know I mean there was just pieces just small pieces you could pick up and put in the palm of your hand um, just scattered everywhere two-thirds of the plane had buried itself in the ground or disintegrated on impact and the retina burns of that image have not faded with time we'll never forget that scene we'll never forget the smell of the jet fuel we'll never forget feeling of helplessness you know any of any of that that's that will